Hey everyone, it's Chris, your Borderline Sloth, and today we are on day eight of Lake. And, um, yeah, we're starting off the, the second week. I think we're supposed to get our contract from Steve, and we'll see what that has to say and see what plays out. We'll see what other, um, what other things happen. I mean, I think we'll probably have to pick up the video from... Mr. Mackey, right? We left him with the Dirty Dozen. We'll see if he liked that. And then we'll see if Angie is in a better mood. And who knows what's going on with Robert in his fight against the apartments. So let's get to it and see what happens. Oh, Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hey, M. here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office, I would like to ask you a few questions. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? To be honest, no. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. Oh, okay, sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here, but I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. No, of course. I mean, uh, yes, sir. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? Yes. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? Yes. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. What's going to happen to Frank? I'm sorry. We can't discuss personnel matters. Good luck with the mail today, Miss Weiss. Okay, so um we 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 got we we had our encounter with uh <laughs> with Mr. Postal Service man and it looks like uh Frank might be getting in trouble. I thought we were going to get in trouble with the stuff we were doing, but apparently um they're onto Frank and his uh his gambling, his sports gambling addiction and he may just be the bookie in charge of it all. I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to play out day eight and see what happens. All right. So what do we got going on here? We got a couple letters near here. Letter, letter. Um, okay. We got to pick up the the videos over with Mr. Mackey. Got the campground again. So we got to drop off some mail for them to, to smoke. <laughs> Is this the motel? Ugh. I don't want to go to the motel. All right, so let's uh, let's get to it. Top of the morning, PO. Complaints in Monday mornings, the perfect combo. PO, positive or catch? Take it away, Bert. Morning, Jr. I'm afraid it's a pet peeve from me again. People who come camping here outside the season just bugger off already. <laughs> Loud and clear, Bert. Just like today's weather. We're starting the week sunny, but a few clouds will appear closer to the afternoon. Enjoy your day and the music. All right, so Mr. Mackey does not like campers because it's apparently the off season, but he seems to be the kind of person that probably doesn't like campers anyway. He probably doesn't like any tours. 
And we stopped a little too soon. Okay, we just wander down here because we are the most efficient at delivering mail. And it wouldn't surprise me that old Mr. Mackey would not like the campers that are there. Those, those crazy hippie kids. Alright, here we go. Okay, we got a letter right here. Alright, we'll skedaddle over here. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see if we learn anything Here's about mail. Frank and his fate today. I don't think we will. I think today we'll probably be focused on um, getting that video from Mr. Mackey and seeing what ha is going on with Angie. Because she'll want us to deliver another one, I think. If things are going okay with her. I don't know. Let's see. Um, did we deliver? Did we deliver a package here before? No one was home. So yeah, I was really expecting the um, that conversation to be about us and what we're doing. Instead, it was about Frank. Kind of forgot about that. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. So. Okay, we'll go from there. Dur, 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 dur. All right, we could just take a left here. <laughs> just we could take a left here just to get the video thing, but I can't. My brain won't let me. <laughs> no, we can't do it. Oh. I don't like being this way, you know, but it, it just, it, it, it just is, it is what it is, you know, I, there's other things I have to live with and deal with, and my brain does not necessarily function in a, uh, manner that it probably should, um, we're going down here. We'll just drive on the wrong side of the road here, drop off this mail. Hmm. These look like bills. <laughs> Nosy as can be. Okay. Where are we at? Doo -doo -doo. Okay, all the way here. We can circle around there, right? Yeah. Alright, so we'll do that. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know any different, like, living any differently as far as, like, certain things with my disorders. But, I mean, over time, I can tell the difference of how things have progressed with them, which is kind of, um, In, a, in an objective way, it's interesting. In a subjective way, it can be kind of frightening and scary. But, you know, we kind of have to live with what we live with. And that's kind of why I make these videos now when I do this. It gives me something to keep my mind off of those things. Because they keep me from living a life... A, a, "Quote unquote normal life, right? So I just have to find my ways to keep myself busy and deal with my treatment and everything. So yeah, so there's there's a little bit, there's just a tidbit about me, you know. I I'm sure over time I will share more and more about myself, but." Especially doing games like this where you're just kind of relaxing and able to, to talk out loud and verbalize the things going on in your head. Which 
You know, may or may not be a good thing. <laughs> may not be good. You may run run away. But I, I, I won't blame you if you do. So. But yeah, I, I, I do like the games like this where it is, it is real relaxing and you can just kind of either zone out or just kind of... Like, I'm able to just kind of talk through my thoughts as I'm going through this. And I'm curious to know if there are any games that you play that are like that for you. Because if there are, I wouldn't mind knowing what they are, possibly checking them out myself. Because I do, I, there are, you know, I like my spooky games and intensive games you know there'll be more of those on this channel but i also like these games where we can just kind of chill out and enjoy the game and kind of be in a relaxed mood and run away without the package because we're busy talking and just kind of zoning out as i said <laughs> and point is proven keep forgetting to hit the button to actually take the package. Pick it up. Pick it up. What on earth did these folks order? I don't know. It's a, it's a business. It could be all types of things. Come on. Oh, the stewed again. Excuse me, what's this all about? It's all about the mail. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. I'd appreciate it if you'd act like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Sure sounds like you're playing a video game. Don't be talking to me about computers, pal. <laughs> Interesting. I work in computers, too. Delivering computers does not mean that you work in computers. Yep. Just like playing games also doesn't count as working in computers. Don't you have more computers to deliver? I'm going to drop his box next time. I want these kind of... Oh, I can't wait. I wish I, I wish we had the options to just, like... I, that's one thing I do wish on this, is that there were more options as to what you could do. Like, I would I would totally accidentally drop his box, you know, kick it a couple times. Accidentally drop it over the counter onto him, you know, that kind of thing. But I guess that's where it, w it would no longer be a relaxing game, right? We start venting our anger and frustrations here. But it'll be interesting to see how that progresses. I would like to, you know, by the end of this, be able to stick it to that guy. Jackass. So I think we have a letter left to deliver at the campground, I believe, is what was on the map. So we'll do that, and... And then we will pick up the movies from Mr. Mackey. And after that... We will drop it off, the movie box, off to Angie and see what she has to say about it all. Oops, I almost missed a campground. And who knows, we'll probably... I, I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. Okay, I already said that. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. Okay. So. Hi, sweet Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Yikes. Oh, I guess bad <laughs> trips happen. Well, actually. When I went outside this morning, 
there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Mm, Ew, Mr. disgusting. Mackey. I may have. Mm -hmm. oh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. Mickey! Wake up, honey! Leave me alone. I'm still shit faced. It's a letter from Damien. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. What about the RV? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. <laughs> hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two, you know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. So my prediction is they're going to leave Thursday. That's almost our two weeks. So we get the option of taking the RV for ourselves and a place to live, right? So that's going to be my guess. We will definitely come and hang out anyway and oh, cool. get wasted. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome. Got to run. See you Wednesday after sundown. Okay, now to go confront Doc, or I don't even know if they'll give us the option to confront Mr. Mackey because we know he left the fish. But we do got to pick up the video. Got to pick up the video box. Because I wonder if we're... The only reason I wonder if that is an option as far as like saying something to him about it because you could have picked up the video box before this, so I don't know if it would make you, give you an option to go back around to him, or if it would be something that we gotta wait until the next day for that, for it to um, trigger that event or whatever. However you wanna put it. And I wonder once we get back to the post office if Frank will be there and he'll be like, "Yo, whoa, did you say something?" Because uh. You would have been nice if you didn't say anything about me, uh, you know, using the postal service to, you know, funnel my, my gambling uh, uh, scheme. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Go pick this up, because... Well, I mean, if the rules are that he was worried about was for personal gain, I guess nothing we've done has been for our own personal gain, right? It's always been for other people. So, I guess in that sense, we haven't broken that rule. Because we're not getting paid to deliver any of this stuff, or... Hi there, work. Meredith. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. I did. It took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Didn't like it much. Silly war fantasies. So anyway, Angie over at the Flip Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. <laughs> Silly war fantasies. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not gonna comment on his, uh, <laughs> on him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't seen Dirty Dozen. I don't know what I'm gonna assume. World War Two. I don't know. Again, haven't seen it, so I don't can't really say offhand. Don't know what it's about, so maybe it is silly, but as far as no, put it back in. Back in. So I can't really I can't really say whether 
his description is accurate, but from what I know, Dirty Dozen is a very um, popular movie as far as those kind of movies go. So, um, don't know. Not sure if he would have liked Jaws better or not, and I guess that's something that if I ever replay this, I can change some of those decisions. See what happens, if anything. Okay, let's uh, go deliver this back to Angie, see what she has to say, and then get back to the post office in end day eight. And um, like I said, I, won't, I don't know if we'll see Frank at all, but I would not be surprised. And we still haven't had anything come up to deliver the pictures back to, um, to Nancy, even though we took all the pictures. So I guess there wasn't really a time frame on it, per se. So, that's something that I think will come up in the next couple days. And then, of course, on Wednesday we have that um, little uh, party, I guess you could say. It does have this little glitch, I guess, with, um, with the briefcase. Hey, here's your movie box back. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. Apology? For what? I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. You deserve better. It's okay. No one can be perked up all the time. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. Hmm. That's awful. What will you do if the store goes bust? I'm sure it'll be fine. Chin up. Well, they're not going to go with that one. Ouch. I can imagine that causes quite a bit of stress. So, let's go with... Ouch. Ouch. I can imagine that causes quite a bit of stress. I've had kind of a stressful job situation myself recently. So, I can definitely relate. Really? How'd you deal with it? <laughs> <laughs> I came here. Change of scenery, huh? Hmm. Anyway... Enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. Alright, we're going on a date. What? You mean like a date? Oh, you post people in your labels. But hey, if you want to call it that, sure. So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? You're going on <laughs> a date. I'd love to. Y I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. Okay, Angie with the m'lady and being creepy. Come on now. <laughs> No need for that. We already said yes. We'll go on the date with you. <laughs> Keep the fedora hidden. Alright, so... That was a little bit of a turning event I wasn't expecting. We're, you know, we're going on a date tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's a couple of glitches in the game that I find. Like, the brief, the, the little briefcase one, and then there's this traffic one I've noticed. Where, like, if one car gets stopped, it'll get to a point where it does not continue, and then all the rest of the traffic completely backs up. So, that's, I mean, that's, it's negligible. It doesn't really matter. I, just, I find it kind of funny that that happens. You know, you, you, you know, device residence Monday evening. Going on date. Mm -mm -mm. Going on date. Mm -mm -mm. Hello. Hey, Meredith. How 
was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Uh, I'm busy. I need to uh, go on a date. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated? What? By whom? Walter Morgan, a higher up from the post service. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Uh, Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? Hmm. The truth. Nothing, basically. That's my girl. They'll never catch Frank anyways. <coughs> He's always one step ahead of them. Oh, Listen, come on. Mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Was Dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, Mom. Yep, you tried. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met the new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. What a jerk. Ugh, I agree. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? I've got a date. It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting? Mm-hmm. That's what we mean. Just interesting. I think you could say interesting, interesting. <laughs> oh, honey, that's so nice to hear. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's right. And now I'm changing the subject. It's kind of like um, a very... Um... I don't want to say like a very 80s thing, but like it's definitely like not something that would be like it's kind of almost coded language there. It's like, oh, I'm going to acknowledge that your interests are um, not traditional. So I'm just going to say, oh, it's very interesting. Interesting. Oh, an interesting event. Oh. How are you guys doing over there? No, oh, Florida is fantastic. No, it's not. I think I might actually want to live here. No. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. Oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Alabama slammers, cheers! All right. Parents are partying it up. This is fun. It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? Hmm. Hmm, do we pick or do we let her pick? My pick? All right, let's see. Big Trouble in Little China, Blue Velvet, or the Great Mouse Detective. At least give me some guidance, though, like... Okay, so, from my own experience, do we want the Great Mouse Detective? That's a... Sherlock Holmes mouse. Um, Big Trouble in Little China. That one's, like, comedy, right? Blue Velvet, I think, is drama? I don't. I don't think I've seen. I, I don't think I've seen Blue Velvet, Big Trouble in Little China. I've seen a long time. A great mouse detective saw as a kid. Um, let's just see what. She seems like she'd be probably into one of those. Let's see. What do you know about Big Trouble in Little China? It's supposed to be a pretty good ass kicking. Most John Carpenter movies are pretty exciting, at least. He's the guy who made Halloween and The Thing. Nothing too deep, but should be entertaining. Okay. What's Blue Velvet about? Apparently it's noir, with a surrealist twist. I once saw a film by this director called Eraserhead, yeah. which was, well, weird. <laughs> Unsettling, too. From what I've heard, this new one is quite... memorable, as well. Hmm, I don't know. Heard anything about The Great Mouse Detective? <laughs> Disney. Disney movie, Mouse Detective. 
What do you need? A road map? All right, I'm ready to pick. All right, so for a first date, we could... <laughs> Angie probably likes blue velvet above all. She probably thinks Great Mouse Detective is silly. Big Trouble in Little China seems like the middle ground for the two people. So Big, we go Trouble Big Trouble in Little, Little China. China. Ooh, the carpenter. This ought to be a ride. <laughs> And it's endlessly quotable. Yes, sir. The check is in the mail. <laughs> you were right about it being a ride. Woo! Yep, that's Carpenter. And the best part is, we don't have to talk about hidden meanings or anything. Oh, dear. Does that mean we have to talk about ourselves? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so anyway... Sounds like we made the good choice, right? My parents' house is right down this road, as you well know. Right, Missy. Let's go that way. <laughs> I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. Next time, we'll do something in your area of expertise. <laughs> what, computer software? Yeah, we can build a killer robot or something. I like the sound of next yeah. time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. <laughs> Speaking of slip of the tongue. Yeah. So, here we are. Now what? Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. Mm-hmm. I wonder what old Jack Burton would say at a time like this. And we're in! We are in! Okay, so that was day eight, and we had a date with Angie, and we're in. We found ourselves our relationship, so... Nope, they, like, I don't know, for, for some reason, the character Meredith, for me... When we first started and we first interacted with Angie, it was like it felt that felt more natural than with like Robert, right? Because I think that's what the other option is. I'm sure there was two relationships you could have gone for in this game, Angie or for Robert. I if the Angie one felt better to me than the Robert one. You know, Angie seems cooler than Robert, so <laughs> so that's that's where that is. And sounds like we made the right choice on the movie and everything. So. I don't know, we got interrogated, um, and we'll see what happens, right? You know, we'll see what happens to Frank and what he has to say about it all. But as always, you know, like, if you hit like if you like the movie, subscribe, you know, ring the little notification bell if you want to know when the next video comes out. Um, otherwise, you know, we at the channel here like to be like a sloth and keep on hanging on. So have a great day. Thanks.